Thank you very much for joining us today. We're now looking ahead to the main event at the Copper Box on Saturday night and uh, what promises to be, on paper anyway, an outstanding fight, the IBF World Junior Lightweight title fight between the champion here, Javonta Davis, in his 18th professional fight, undefeated so far, up against Liam Walsh. Similarly, undefeated from Cromer, the challenger, the mandatory challenger for the title. And uh, I think everybody agreed that it has the, all the makings of being a fascinating contest. As far as the bookies are concerned, Javonta is the clear favourite, I guess, on the back of what was an outstanding performance against Jose Pedraza in his last fight. But Liam, as we know, trains assiduously. We know kind of the Walsh brothers' dream, which we heard Ryan talking about a little bit earlier on. And if Liam were to win the world title, it would be an exceptional achievement. We'll hear from, uh, hear from the two fighters and from Floyd in a moment, but before then, Frank, just uh, set the scene on how this one stacks up. I don't know how many world title fights you've done over the years, but it's a fair few, and this one promises to be another good one. I think it's got the ingredients of being a classic. As John just said, both guys are undefeated. Um, they both have confident uh, teams around them who believe in their men. I know Floyd is, uh, you know, he's, for me, Floyd's... Uh, He's a fellow promoter at the moment, uh, do not promote on this, and he's a boxing legend. And he, I know for a fact that he... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's got thorough um, belief in, in Javonta, who's done everything he's been asked of him. And it's the same as I feel about Liam. Liam's done everything he's been asked of him. Um, it's Liam's birthday today, and it's Ryan's. He's his birthday today, so I'm hoping... Well, we He's going to get a big birthday present on Saturday, which would be taking that belt off of Javonta. He's done all we can to give him every advantage possible. And I just, as I say, this for me is a cracking fight. I know everybody's got an opinion about it. Javonta's favourite with the bookmakers. I know Showtime, uh, uh, you know, they're over here to broadcast this fight. They've got big belief in their man. And I can only talk from experience in the past where we've been in a similar situation with Joe Calzaghi <laughs> and Jeff Lacey with um, Costa Zoo and Ricky Hatton. Many times this has happened and I've always felt that there are certain fighters that have, have it in them to become something special, certainly on the night. And I think Liam is one of those fighters. So as I say, for me, I've got every confidence in my man. Um, it's not going to be easy. I know it's going to be tough for him, and, bet, and obviously the people are going to benefit from this. And the, the fans, and they're, they're what we do this for, for the fans. So, looking forward to it. And on the other side of the coin, we'll hear now from Floyd. He's uh, uh, the youngest world champion the United States have, Javonta. And on the back of that terrific performance, yeah. how good is this kid? Um, you know, I can just, you know, I'm just thinking back you know, how everything played out, how we came together, you know, how our team came together, me and Tank. And I can remember um, a kid came up to me when I was on a press tour for the Canelo fight. And he wanted to take, he wanted to take a picture, a photo with me. We took a photo and, um, and when I looked at him, I said, there's something about that kid that looks special. Some other people that was in, that was in the audience said um, he's the next big thing, but you know um, I had a real busy schedule, you know, with traveling from state to state and country to country promoting my fight. So um, you know you keep hearing the name Tank Tank, you know, because you know of course his name is Javante Davis, but his nickname is Tank. So you know, I'm always hearing his name Tank Tank Tank. So. Um, he came to my gym, he, you know, he boxed another fighter in my gym. They had some real, real good work. But it's something about him that I feel that he had a, a special look about him. And I got in touch with him, actually through social media. I had my assistant get in touch with him. I said, whatever it takes um, for us to work with you, to get you to, to that next level, let's make it happen. Um, um, I eventually called my pilots. I flew over to New York, and uh, he came from Baltimore over to New York to sit down for us to meet. 
um, we met and I told him um, within 24 months, um, if you listen to me and you continue to go out there and work hard, I truly believe that you can be world champion. And if we, and that's just one stepping stone. After that, it's about going to another level. You know, it's, it's levels. And I think that as of right now, he's the only fighter that's in boxing that's facing back-to-back -back undefeated fighters. You know, he just faced one fight, an undefeated world champion. Now he's facing his mandatory challenger, and he's also undefeated. Um, I mean, his his team is is tank team is remarkable. They've done an unbelievable job. And I want to really commend the team and, and the city of Baltimore and his peers and his young friends that helped him get to this, you know, uh, to this plateau, you know. Uh, it's not easy working with a young fighter because they want everything in, they want everything in one day. You know, they want the Floyd Mayweather lifestyle, but they must, it, it steps to get into where I'm at. And he know it takes it, it takes steps, but um, Frank Warren, Liam Walsh, we just want to commend you guys for stepping up to the plate and making this fight happen. We want to give the fans what they want to see. The fans want to see blood, sweat, and tears. He's in. He's always in tremendous fights, and he's a very exciting exciting knockout artist. And that's what boxing is about. It's about giving the people and the fans what they want to see. Um, I truly believe in my man. I will continue to believe in him, and you know I want to work with him from now to the end of his career. And when we say the end of his career, whereas we don't believe in just working with a fighter inside the ring, we want fighters to make smart investments so he can continue to have the same lifestyle when his career is over. Like myself, um, Leonard LB and the Mayweather Promotions staff, I want to commend them for doing a remarkable job. And I just want to thank the UK fans and everyone in all the media for, you know, covering this event. Because without you guys, you know, um, for covering the, the Mayweather brand for so many years and the TMG brand for so many years, I just want to say thank you. And we really, we really appreciate it. And we look forward to going out there, giving you guys excitement Saturday. Floyd, before we hear from the two fighters, I mean, uh, the... The, the Liam Walsh supporters and the detractors who look at what this fellow has achieved would say you're making this assessment and putting him down as potentially a, the, a great fighter on the back of one great performance. Is that, is that fair? No, not just one performance. It takes more than just one performance. We, what we're saying is we truly believe that he can be a great fighter someday but his performance with a with a kid that wasn't even ranked in the top 10 with only 16 fights his performance was a, he had a great performance and what we do know is that he's not going to lay down this kid got dynamite in both hands so I'm not saying that he's a great fighter right now he's a good fighter on the verge of becoming a great fighter someday and his performance when he went out there and fought for the title, it was a great performance. So if he keep going out there, beating good fighters and great fighters, they can't deny him. He cannot be denied. Liam, what's uh, your thoughts coming into this one? Because you've heard what Floyd's got to say, you've seen him fight. This is the biggest night of your life, potentially. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always positive, confident. Um, like I said many a times, uh, that his performance against Pedraza was very, very good. I ain't no Pedraza. Um, Tank's the best fighter I've come up against in my career so far, and I'm the best fighter he's going to come up against, or he's going to come up against in his career so far as well. So it makes for a good fight. It's a great what, what impressed you most about his performance against Pedraza? Um, but probably other than winning it. Yeah, yeah, no, um, it's, it's, he's very physically very good, he's very fast, he's very powerful. Um, I thought he showed maturity beyond his years against against Pedraza, the way he handled, him, handled himself before, through the fight, after the fight. I thought, um, yeah, I don't think you can knock that performance whatsoever, but there is still a lot of questions that need answering. 
of Giovanna Davis. He's a, he's a southpaw. How much of a, a problem is that? And what sort of preparations have you been going through to potentially cope with what he's going to throw at you? Um, yeah, the southpaw stance doesn't um, affect me too much. I box the majority of my fights in the southpaw stance also. I can switch between the two. I think I'm ambidextrous because I'm comfortable in both stances. So that um, that isn't a problem for me. I, quite, I do quite like boxing southpaws. So. We heard a little bit earlier on from Ryan about what it would mean to you as a family to, to, to come through and actually get this title. Just put into your own words what winning would mean. I don't, I don't think I can put it into words, John. It's, um, it's been a dream since a, a young child and yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't believe I can put into words the feeling and the emotion. I, don't, I, can't, I can't put it into words. Let's hear a bit from uh, Javonta and again from Floyd. What's it, uh, what's it like, Javonta, having, uh, having this guy by your side as you come into this big fight? Give you more confidence? Um, it gave me a lot of confidence, you know. Um, just having one of the best, you know, back me in the sport, you know, it felt amazing. You know, um, this camp, you know, I ended my camp in Las Vegas. And um, Floyd been really hands on with me. He been getting up, running, you know, training with me. So it, it motivated me a lot. You must remember that moment when you went and saw the guy when he was on that Canelo tour and you wanted the photograph. Yes, yes. I, I was um, anxious to meet him. You know, he actually signed the back of my phone, you know, um, that night, you know, and, um, I pulled the side with him then, you know, I pulled the been with him, but he had, you know, um, things going on in his life, you know, so at the right time, we, we met and, and we made um, things happen. Was he, was this, was he a hero as a sportsman? Of course, I, I believe he was um, everyone hero in the sport of boxing that was coming up, you know, um, he was that guard to us, so, you know, just having him back me is, a, is, is amazing. Leonard Allaby joining us up on the top top table now, the uh, chief executive of Floyd's company. That's yes. correct, is it not? No, CEO. You know, CEO. CEO, I think you Yeah, chief executive, same thing. I mean, that's just the longer way. Um, you know, um, Javante, you know, and, uh, and Ashley Theopay can also, he also, un can, he also knows what I'm talking about. As um, far as with the Mayweather Boxing Club, we have so many different fighters from around the world. It's like a boxing hub in the Mayweather Boxing Club. I'm truly blessed and I'm truly thankful that I was able to get to a point to where I can have my own promotion company and help fighters and also get my own boxing gym to help fighters accomplish and go out there and fulfill their goals. But in the Mayweather Boxing Club, I mean, it's so much good work. There's so much good boxing. Some of the best boxing, I mean, around the world. If you want some great boxing, you come to the Mayweather Boxing Club. I mean, any fighter you can name, from Errol Spence to Ashley Thea Payne to Javante Davis, um, and the list goes on and on. Top work, champion working with champion, um, top contender working with top contender. And, and that's what the sport of boxing needs to prepare you for a situation like this. He needed great boxing. So within his training camp and his team, like I said before, his team does a remarkable job, but it's my job as, as a friend and a father figure to tell him, come over here so you can get the best work over here. Not saying that his sparring has, wasn't good on the East Coast, but we wanted him to have different looks. We wanted, we wanted him to box guys that was orthodox. We wanted him to box guys that was southpaw, just like, his, just like he's a southpaw. You, we want guys that's going to push him. We wanted bigger guys. We wanted small, smaller, faster guys. We wanted to see different styles because when you, when you get to a certain plateau, you, you, you face with so many different styles. But I, like I said before, I just really have to, you know, commend his team and commend Leonard Ellaby for them coming together and making this making this all possible. Javonto, winning the title and working with Floyd's organization, how much has it changed your life? Um, it just put my mind, you know, on um, a different level. 
you know, just um trying to stay level headed, you know, um just getting a belt and just um I step closer to what I wanna be. You know, I wanna be able to take over the sport of boxing. You know, um with the performance I put on uh Saturday night, you know, uh it, 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 it put me a step closer and that's and that's the be that um pay per view star, be that star of boxing, you know, um um following after for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Tell, tell us a little bit about your background, you know, because uh, boxing's been important to you, hasn't it? To put it put it mildly, you no, know, without boxing is it is it overstating it to say that, you know, your direction wouldn't have been there and you could have been in trouble without boxing? Um, you know, I come from Baltimore, Maryland. Um I uh, have um um crown rate, you know, um and it it been tough, you know, and, and actually where I'm from the gym is in the hood, you know, so you know, um if it wasn't for the gym, you know, I either be in jail or dead, you know, and that's not what I wanna be, you know, and, um you know, Boston saved my life saved my life a lot, you know, actually even you know, going signing to Floyd and me, you know, back and forth to Vegas, you know, saved my life also, you know, because um, it was times that, you know, before I signed with Floyd, you know, I wasn't making that much money, you know, so I was in and out the streets, you know, ro ro rolling with my homeboys and things like that, but, you know, I signed with Floyd, you know, I, I moved to Vegas and things like that and um, put my mind on another level, so then I... Recently, I won the belt, so I'm definitely on another level than than I was before. So right now, my focus is to take over the sport. How does it feel to you, Floyd, when you when you hear a lad say something like that? Because despite all the success that you've had and all the all the monetary rewards that you've picked up, I guess hearing that and realizing what you're capable of doing is kind of humbling. You know, we both we both come from similar backgrounds. You know, both of our mothers being on drugs um you know i came from uh you know my mother used to, we used to live seven of us seven of seven of me and my seven siblings used to live in a, a one brick one bedroom apartment no lights no heat but you know i kept believing you know i kept believing kept working hard kept dedicating myself and um i always knew you know 224 77 a star was born and you know, when I see another fighter or another kid in that same situation, I just want to help them, you know, show them a different part of life, show them something different. So, you know, he was, even though he was fighting professional, you know, when you first start off, the money is really not that great. If you don't go to the Olympic Games or you don't have a, a crazy amateur background or you don't have um, a certain individual that's sponsoring you or backing you. So what I wanted to do was just put him in the best position possible. Make sure he's comfortable, make sure his family's comfortable, but he's young. He's still, of course he's young. He's still gonna make a lot of mistakes, but you live and you learn. And when he make mistakes, I try to sit down and communicate with him the best way I know how to. But I know what he's going through because I went through the same thing. I was young, I was young, and when you're young, when you get when I got a ton of money at a young age, you know, 19, 20 years old, you want everything. You want every car, you want every house, but it's a process. And that's what I learned when I, when I signed with Al Heyman. I learned that it's a process. You know, the world wasn't built in a day. Um, and I, just, and I, just, I got my mind on business. And once I got my mind on business, I continue to work hard inside the ring, but I wanted to make smart financial moves on the outside because I didn't want to end up like, you know, a lot of other sports, sports celebrities or, you know, other celebrities. I didn't want to, I wanted to have something when my career was over. And I also wanted to, wanted to still have that same lifestyle. So, um, I mean, of course he wants that flashy lifestyle. I mean, he, he wants the diamond Rolexes and he wants the diamond chain because, you know, when, when you're a young kid and you, and we don't come from nothing, only thing we see in our in our neighborhoods, we don't look up to the guys on TV. We look we look up to the, the guys that's in our neighborhood. We look up to the drug dealers and the and the pimps and the hustlers and the you know the and the gangsters. That's what we look up to. But once you get to a, a certain level and you surpass them, you start looking at you know you start looking at guys. I mean we start looking at 
the billionaires and say, you know what, I want what he got. You know what I'm saying? Because you you you, you surpassed a certain a certain level and you moved on to you know to a to a whole nother level. So um, this kid, you know, he busts his ass, you know, day in and day out. And it's it's all about you know hard work and dedication. And we we're gonna continue to go out there and do what we do. Um, we're gonna be flashy. We're gonna be flamboyant. That's us. We know just because we may just because I got a, a, a diamond watch and you got the same watch without diamonds. I wish. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't make us any different. You know, um, we get up and put our pants on. We say our prayers. We believe. We love our family just like everyone else. And you know, we're gonna continue to stick together. We're gonna continue to work hard. And Leonard Ella B. Um, I mean, like I said before, we've been working together 21 years now. And I just want to thank uh, um, the lawyer in the back, John, as we've been working with John. I've been working with John since um, since probably 1996. I mean, uh, probably 1994, actually. I've been knowing John, um, one of the best lawyers um, in boxing. I want to say thank you, John, because a lot of times we come up on the podium and you don't ever get your just due. So I just want to say thank you. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm up here talking a lot, but this is, of course, this is about Tank. This is about Liam Walsh. Um, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Go out there and get a fans what they want to see Saturday. Liam, when you hear uh, talk about Rolex watches and flash cars and lifestyle, what 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 does that say to you? What do you what do you think when you hear that sort of thing? Oh, we're, we're complete polar opposites. Um, some people are that poor, all they have is money. Some people are that poor, all they have is money. Um, I'm not that poor. Um, my family, my happiness, my health is is paramount in my life, and that's all that matters to me. Um, well, give us so your check. Peace, you're on. We'll, ta we'll take your check. <laughs> uh, <laughs> take my check. Because <laughs> we know. Same you know, what, it. You know nah. man, well, you know one thing. I, one thing I learned about you know, you know, when it's time to cut them lights off, when the, when the bills is due. You can't go tell the bill man, I love you, and they're going to keep your lights on. So no, remember no, that. No, no, you, 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 there's points in that. Of course, everyone needs to have money, but it, you, it's important to have, you have your, your focus and your true values on, on other things, in my opinion. Well, we need you as a fighter, but you want to fight for free. We need you. We want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that about you. My values are far for just we were just on different levels in, in, in that sense. Floyd's talked about the fact he makes still makes mistakes because he's a young fella, makes mistakes outside the ring. What about inside the ring? Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he, 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 there isn't there's definitely flaws there. Um it's it's, yeah, it's for me to exploit him, it's for me to take advantage of the times he does make mistakes and and I know when I was 22, there's things I would have done and mistakes I would have made that I definitely would have made now. So, you know, maybe maybe this is the perfect time to fight him. And do you feel it's all intimidated? Or will you feel no, a bit no, intimidated no, 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 no. when you look across to the other side of the ring and no, you see not only him, but the rest of the entourage? No, I wanted to cut you short there, John, after about three words. I am not intimidated or not one little bit, not by Floyd, not by Tank, not by anybody. I'm not, not, not by no man. Well, you know, when I was fighting, you was too young. You know what I'm saying? We, we take it back when you see it. Or 20, you what, 20 years ago you was? Oh, 10. Oh, you was too young. Yeah. yeah you was too young, so. But I still wouldn't have been intimidated. Oh, you ain't have to, because, you know, you already knew what was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would not you have been already intimidated. Know, you already know, I'm known for dishing it out. <laughs> I already conquered your country once. And now we finna conquer it again Saturday. You, n you never came over here to conquer here. You, you beat Ricky out in Vegas in your back. Oh, you know I'm. You know I'm. You know when you're the A side, they gotta come see me. It don't matter. You could take. You could take me on any turf, and I'ma dominate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, give him credit. Uh, well, give him. They would guess what? My thing is this. Okay, that's right. Now, now, now I'm gonna ask you a question. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. Have you ever been to the U.S. to fight? 
No. Okay, no. Now we on the same page. <laughs> now we on the same page. You yeah, didn't, didn't, didn't want to pay us any money. You didn't want to pay us any money. The money's here. No, we on the, the same page. The money's in the UK. The money's in the UK. Now you talking about money when you just said you won't fight for the money. No, I, no, 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 no. I, no, I never won't fight for the money. I never won't fight for the money. One minute you talk about we don't go no. Uh, we don't go nowhere, and you don't go nowhere. So you can't tell me that I'm not going nowhere. At the end of the day, I never seen you in power for power. I ain't never seen you in power for power, and I ain't never seen you in power for power. Listen, listen. I'm 40 years old. I'm 40 years old, and I kick all three of y'all ass in the same night. <laughs> when, when, when can we do it? <laughs> Man, I, listen. I never even, I never even heard, the, I never even heard of these fighters until Larry came to me and said, "Take hands." Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't think he, I think, <laughs> to be fair, Ryan, I think, I think Floyd's gone on record in the right. past saying that he would have loved to have fought in the UK. At the, end of the day, for whatever reason. at the end of the day, it is what it is. It is, what it is. I've been around the world. I've been around the world and fought. I've fought against every country you could possibly fight against. You, I've been in the Olympic Games. I've been, I, I, listen, I've fought against Russia. I've fought against Cuba. Anyway, well, take, well, say it again. Listen, man, listen. Right. I don't mind. I'm, 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 I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about the two brothers. Right. We gonna kick his ass Saturday. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We're gonna. We're gonna take questions. We're gonna take questions. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take questions from the floor, from the media, from the reporters, please. Michael, just give it, give it chance to, give it chance to, give it chance. Um, Ryan, please. Enough. Can you just give it chance to take it to court? We've got a microphone coming round, and you can't guarantee that you're going to be able to get one-on-one -on -one interviews afterwards with these guys because they're on a busy itinerary. So please ask your questions now. And while we're just waiting for that, just to be passed around, just a word from Leonard, because he was a bit late joining us. And uh, you've been a part of uh, this show, putting it together. Just give us uh, your thoughts on the on the guy alongside you, and also what we can look forward to on Saturday night. Mayweather Promotions is very excited about bringing our first um, event over here on Foreign Soul. And um, it's going to be a very, very exciting fight. We know that uh, Liam Walsh is an excellent young fighter. He's, he's undefeated. He's fought some very tough competition to this point. We just feel and we know that Javante is on another level. Um, Javante, he is, in our opinion, the most exciting fighter in boxing. He has a very, very bright future. Um, and come this Saturday night, this will be another stepping stone as part of his greatness um, in many, many future fights. And he will go down as one of the biggest stars in the sport. Thank you very much indeed. Right, the microphone, I think, is now being passed around. So please ask your questions. Start off down here. Can I start off by asking Floyd, have you been training with Javonta? Well, you Hi, John oh, Bellin, yeah, Boxing you News. Have you been training with Javonta and what kind of training have you been doing and are you ready to fight yourself? Um, you know, um, we've been making sure, we've been jogging together. Um, I've been in the gym with him. We've been working at the Mayweather Boxing Club. Um, showing him different pointers, giving him different pointers because I've been there before and I know what it, I know what it takes. Uh, when it's a fight of this, when it's a fight of this magnitude, actually, I know what it takes because I beat more champions than any fighter in a, in boxing history. So, of course, I'm going to be there day in and day out because I care about the well-being of my fighter. It's, it's not just the money. I care about the well-being of my fighter. Before I even made my first million, I would have I would have fought for free because for the love of the sport. You know, I love the sport of boxing and I love fighters. Okay. And I didn't get Mayweather promotion. I didn't get in Mayweather. I didn't start a, a promotion company to take advantage of fighters. I started a promotion company to try to help fighters accomplish what they want to accomplish in the sport of boxing. 
And being in the gym, does it does it make you miss competing yourself? Oh, being in the gym, I, I don't miss it at all. You know, um, I'm de- I'm there to help him. I want to see him. If I can push this fighter for name, that's what we're here to do. Records are made to be broken. Okay, any more, please? Yeah, Floyd, Beckham Warrington, PA. Um, last week, Leonard compared this fight to yours with Arturo Gatti. To what extent do you see it that way? Who, who did? Leonard. Um, um, the Arturo Gatti fight was a, was a huge fight, you know, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I was the A side and I still went to his turf, you know, Atlantic City, sold out crowd. Um, Arturo Thunder God, he had, you know, he, you know, may he rest in peace. He had dynamite in both hands. Um, I was just a better man. Does the fact that you're here, you've come, to, you've joined Javonta in London, show how highly you think of him as a fighter? Um, well, a lot of fighters, I think a lot of fighters in today's time, they slack. They win, they, they 8-0, and and they think they're world champion. Whereas this kid is working hard day in and day out. You know, he's, he's, he's one of the biggest names in boxing with only seven, 16 to 17 fights. Um, Showtime is extremely high on this kid. Um, it's all about excitement, and that's what he brings. So I have to come here. Um, the fight could have been anywhere. It could have been any one of my fighters. I'm going to I'm going to go and support my fighters. It could be in Australia. It could be one of my fighters that's two and zero or three and zero. I support fighters because this is what I done for a living. And I was on the the fighter side, and I know how it feels to be on the promoter side. So I'm here to support him. I got here early. I've been out here working out with him. I've been out here running with him because I truly care and I want to see him win. Liam, when you hear Frank comparing his fight to Hatton Zoo, Kawasaki, Lacey, to what extent does that inspire you? And is it, isn't it it right that you went to Vegas to support Hatton fighting anyway? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I went to Vegas several times. Um, I went and supported Hatton a few times over there. I even supported my man here a few times as well, against Pacquiao and others, against Ortiz as well. But, um, no, it's, the, the comparisons are going to be there. You've got the number one American in my weight coming to England to fight the number one English lad in this weight so the comparisons are going to be there style wise there's not, not, not much similarities between any of the comparisons I don't think but um, you're going to get the comparisons it's, it's, you've got two very good fighters coming together one from America one from England it always helps on it so yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, they do, yeah, because it, as you see, they were, they were, um, Carl Zaghi was a massive underdog against Jeff Lacey. Everyone was massive, everyone was hyped on Lacey at the time, I remember. Um, everyone was going nuts for Lacey. So, yeah, of course, yeah, you, you're inspired by him. You, you've, you've seen it done, you've seen, you've seen these underdogs win, come, come for a win, and against people who are supposedly they couldn't win against and odds of threes and four to ones are being floated around you know no one's fighting three and four people it's just a one-on-one Phil Duncan Wright of The Sun um, apologies to Joanne and Leon but I've got to ask this um, Conor McGregor this morning says he signed a contract right can we deal with yeah. it yeah. deal with this, um, this, this, this is this is Liam Wash and Javante Davis press conference. Let's focus on these two competitors. We don't want to, uh, you know, that's total disrespect to both of these fighters. This is their press conference. Let's talk about them. And um, both of these fighters deserve respect. Correct. Any more questions about what's going on this weekend? Anybody else? Yeah. Go on, fire away, shout out. What's up, champ? Get a microphone. Um, Liam Walsh and Javante, have you got any predictions for whether you're going to win by knockout, what round, etc.? Do you want to first go? I, I haven't, no, sorry, Andy. I'm not, um, I'm not as 
I'm not as um what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, no, I, I bet no, I haven't. No, I, I predict I will win the fight by by what method? Um, I don't know. I would I wouldn't be shocked if I win by knockout. I wouldn't be shocked if I win by points. So. <laughs> no result will shock me. No result. I'm not going to be shocked. I'm not going to. You won't see me celebrating like a madman if I come to knock tank out because I know I'm capable of it. So, but I haven't got an exact prediction now. Okay. Do you want to? Uh, I'm just on a whole different level. You know, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Tell us what round then. Uh-huh. You're on a whole different level. Tell us what round. Shit, I do know. Sh- well, sure. I do know. Um. Uh, they build you good, you know. Um, since you since you fought, I mean, you fought Paul. I forget his last name when he dropped you. They've been putting you in there with people that goddamn nineteen and with with two knockouts. So they was protecting you from the power. So I know you don't got no chin, and I know that um Saturday night. You, Give us a round then. You might don't don't be in You gonna know what round it is when he hits you. Right. You just gonna be on your ass. Get on, on your face. Either, either I'm gonna ask question. Just Get choose, your you can just choose, choose face or that. Face or that. Face or that. And then, and then, and then your brother can get in next. Nice and what's one? You a bomb. You a bomb. Yeah. You a bomb. You a bomb. You a bomb. You a bomb. Michael. You a bomb. You ain't never been to. You ain't never fought in the U.S. You a bomb. You already lost twice. You a bomb. A cold bomb. Cold bomb. Man, you be you pussy. You a bomb too. You a bomb. You a bomb too. Okay, any more questions? Any more questions Man, from the media, up. please? Y'all keep it up. I'm a, y'all keep it up. I'm going to slap both of y'all pussies. I'm going to slap both of y'all pussies. Y'all better be quiet. <laughs> And me. Okay. Thank you very much Thank to, you uh, to restore a little bit of order. We'll and have, and please, please don't run Saturday night. Please don't run. Yeah, please. please. Is that to me? Is that to me? Yeah, yeah. I won't run, Matt. Okay. Don't, don't worry. worry. I'll see you there. Don't, don't worry. worry. <laughs> please don't run. Please don't run. I'll see you there, Matt. Don't worry about that. Please, please don't run. I already know. I don't worry about that. You, you, you better be there to pick. You better be there to pick him up. He he, he <laughs> won't be the one to jump in the ring. He, 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 <laughs> 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 on that note, yeah. On that note, that will conclude things for the moment. You'll have an opportunity of TV cameras to do uh, one or two one-to-one interviews with people who are involved here. But before then, I think we're going to have what promises to be a fairly. Interesting.